Okay, so our lesson for today is all about illustrating geometric sequence grade 10 mathematics. Okay, so let's proceed to the definition about geometric sequence. Okay, so when you say geometric sequence or a geometric progression is a sequence of the form a sub n or the first term, a uh, first term times the common ratio, a sub 1 or the first term times r is square, a sub 1 times r raised to 3, and a sub 1 uh, times r raised to n minus 1. Okay, where, where a sub 1 is the first term, r is the common ratio, and the n term of this sequence is given by a sub n equals to the first term, or a sub 1, times r raised to n minus 1. Okay, so ayan po yung ating formula. Kapag sinabi po natin, Geometric sequence, meron po tayong tinatawag na common ratio. Okay? So, the common ratio, denoted as R of the geometric sequence, con can be obtained by dividing any number A sub N, and N must greater than 1 by its preceding term. That is, R equals to A sub N over A sub N minus 1. So, ayan po yung ating formula in finding or in getting the value of the common ratio of our sequence, okay? So, determine whether the given sequence is geometric sequence or not. If so, give the common ratio, okay? So, let's determine if the following example is, an geome uh, is a geometric sequence or not, okay? So, example number 1 or letter A, we have 1, 3, 9, 27, and 81. Okay? So, first thing that we're going to do is we need to find for the value of the common ratio. So, paano natin isasolve yung value, uh, kung, uh, kung paano natin hahanapin yung value ng common ratio natin. Okay? So, using the formula, R equals to A sub N over A sub N minus 1 or preceding term over the previous term. Okay? So, pinakita ko po sa inyo yung dalawang uh, maaring gamitin para sa sa pagkuha ng common ratio. Okay? Pero dito kasi, kapag ito yung gagamitin natin, medyo mahaba-haba yung solution na gagawin. But, yung pinakamadali or yung pinakamabilis na paraan is preceding term over the previous term. Okay? So, let's have the preceding term. So, sa ating sequence, kung kukunin natin ang common ratio nito, ang preceding term natin ay 3. At ang previous term natin ay 1. 3 over 1, the answer is 3. Okay? Kung kukunin naman natin ang common ratio ng 3 at 9, ang preceding term natin ay 9, at ang previous term ay 3. So, 9 over 3, the answer is 3. Next, 27 is the preceding term, and 9 is the previous term. 27 over 9, the answer is 3. And then next, 81 is the preceding term, 27 is the previous term. So, 81 over 27, the answer is 3. Therefore, we have the common ratio equals to 3. Okay, so, ibig sabihin nun, ang sequence natin ay isang geometric sequence dahil meron tayong common ratio na 3. Okay, so, to get, uh, to get the sequence of the term in our example, so, ang gagawin lang natin, magmumultiply lang tayo ng times 3 using now the common ratio. So, we have 1 times 3, the answer is 3. 1, sorry, 3 times 3, the answer is 9. 9 times 3, the answer is 27. 27 times 3, the answer is 81. And 81 times 3, therefore, the next term here, we're just going to multiply the common ratio. So, 81 times 3, the answer is 243. Okay? So, let's have another example for B. So, 48, 24, 12, 6, and 2. Okay, so that is our sequence. So, let's find first for the value of the common ratio using uh, the formula A sub n over A sub n minus 1 or the preceding term over the previous term. Okay? So, ang ating preceding term dito para kunin yung ating common ratio ay si 24. Si 24 yung preceding term natin, si 48 yung previous term. Okay? So, 24 over... 48, the answer is 1 half or 0 0.5. Okay? And then next, 12 is the preceding term and 24 is the previous term. Okay? So, 12 over 24, the answer is 1 half or 0 
5. Okay? The next 6 is the preceding term and 12 is the previous term. 6 over 12, the answer is 1 half or 0 0.5. Okay? And the next is 2 is the preceding term and 6 is the previous term. Okay? So, 2 over 6, the answer is 1 third. Okay? Uh, kung mapapansin nyo, ang ating common ratio ay hindi lahat pare-pareho. Kasi sa last, yung common ratio na nakuha natin ay 1 third, which is not the same sa mga naunang ratio na nakuha natin na 1 half. Ibig sabihin nun, ang ating sequence na 48, 24, 12, 6, and 2 is not an example of geometric sequence because they don't have the common ratio. Okay? So, let's proceed to another example. Letter C, negative 162, 100, negative 72, 48, and negative 32. Okay? So, yan po yung ating sequence. So, para hanapin ang common ratio, gagamitin lang yung ating formula. R equals to A sub N over the A sub N minus 1 or preceding term over the previous term. Okay? So, we have 108. Kapag kukunin yung common ratio, nito ng negative 162 at 108, ang mauuna ay yung 108 kasi siya yung preceding term natin. Okay? 108 over negative 162 equals to negative 2 over 3. Okay? The next, kapag kukunin yung common ratio nito, ang mauuna ay si negative 72. Negative 72 is the preceding term and 100 is the common ratio. Negative 72 over 108, the answer is negative 2 over 3. Okay? Next, preceding term is si 48 and then negative 72 yung previous term natin. So, the answer is negative 2 over 3. Okay? And then next, minus... Uh, sorry, negative 32 over 48. So, si negative, four, negative 32 yung ating preceding term. Yung 48 yung ating previous term. Negative 32 over 48, the answer is negative, thir, negative 3. Uh, sorry, negative 2 over 3. Okay, so therefore, we have a common ratio which is equals to negative 2 over 3. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang ating example dito sa letter C ay isa siyang geometric sequence dahil meron siyang common ratio na negative 2 over 3. Okay? So, para makuha yung sequence natin, kinakailangan lang natin mag-multiply ng negative 2 over 3 sa ating term. So, negative 162 times negative 2 over 3, the answer is positive 108. And then, 108 times negative 2 over 3, the answer is negative 72 times negative 72 times negative 2 over 3. The answer is positive 48. And positive 48 times negative 2 over 3. The answer is negative 32. And now, to find for the next term of the sequence, we're just going to multiply negative 2 over 3 sa ating last term na negative 32. Okay, so negative 32 times negative, uh, negative 2 over 3, the answer is positive 64 over 3. Okay? So, ayan yung next na term natin. Okay? So, that's all for today. Thank you for listening.